Hey guys, Icon here from Voclia Music. In this video, we're gonna look at how to set up Doubler 2 as an all-in-one vocoder for three DAWs, FL Studio, Ableton, and Logic Pro. Doubler 2 is great for vocoding because usually for vocoders, you need two inputs, an audio input and a MIDI input, but Doubler 2 allows you to perform both at the same time with one microphone. For Windows computers, you'll still need two microphones, but the process is still easy, especially when it comes to performance and editing. You can skip to the relevant chapter for whichever DAW you're using, using the chapters in the description. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments and someone from our support team will gladly assist you in setting up a vocoder or answering any other queries you have about Doubler 2. Let's jump right in. As we spoke about, vocoders need two inputs, one synth and one audio. The idea is to use Doubler as the MIDI input and the audio input at the same time to make vocoding extra easy using only one tool. So first we'll come to Doubler. And we're working in the basic key of C major. Our example backing track also follows this key with chords like D minor and E minor, all from the C major scale. And we're going to leave the settings here alone, just test that the MIDI works. Now that Doubler is all set up, we can minimize it, come to FL Studio, and make sure we're getting our voice. To get our audio from FL Studio, we'll click on this insert, and click here, front left, that's the uh, audio port for our doubler USB mic, so I'll test that. Uh, 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 one, two, one, two, three. Okay, that's working fine. And then we need a synthesizer. A really good option for vocoding in FL Studio is a 3X OSC, and we've selected square waves. Two of them are in the same octave. We have one higher octave, so it's a bit of a layered sound. And then the next step is inserting the Vocodex plugin on your third insert here. What we're going to do is route both our audio and our MIDI into Vocodex so that it combines them and gives us the vocoded signal. To do that, I've clicked Insert 1, and then right-click this knob here in Insert 3, where Vocodex is, and say Sidechain to this track only. I do the same for Insert 2, that has our synthesizer. Click it. Right click insert 3, side chain to this track only. Now, in Vocodex, you need to make sure that the mixer has selected the correct inputs for the modulator, which is your voice signal, and the carrier, which is the synth signal. So the modulator is our audio channel, which is insert 1, so we have 1 here. And then the carrier is insert 2, so we have 2 here. We have a quick vocoder patch and you can change the sound firstly by messing with the synth. For example, let's do that for a bit. And you can see in Doubler the pitch you're singing in real time. One, two, three, four. You can also change the settings in Vocodex. For example, there's a formant here that makes the voice lower or higher. You can add a unison effect. You can add a release so that the sound lasts longer after you sing it. For example, let's test out these parameters. And then we can add this. And of course, Doubler 2 has the new chords feature, so you can vocode chords live. You 
can increase the octave. The vocal codex in FL Studio really sounds great. It has other advanced presets and other controls that you can use to enhance the sound as well. We recommend definitely putting some EQ on a vocoder to cut the lows sometimes and also to add some reverb to put the vocals in a space. Let's try singing a melody over our backing track. Now that we recorded, you can see when we double click it, we have the MIDI notes that we can also edit. If you record chords using doublers chords, you also get the full chord MIDI as well, so you can edit that as you like. In Logic, it's quite straightforward. In Logic's preferences and in input device, you select your doubler USB as your input, or if you're using an external microphone plugged into your audio interface, that's also fine. You can just select your audio interface as both the input and the output. And then you have your audio voice here on an audio channel, and then you're gonna have a MIDI instrument channel here that you're gonna put the synth on. And the synth in Logic for vocoding is called Evoc 20. So we'll just enable that. And then we'll select our audio channel as the sidechain input here. Voice audio. And also the last thing to do is then select signal. The signal here is usually set to syn as default, which is the synth sound itself. But we want the vocoder sound coming from the audio input. So we'll select the voc here. And then you don't want the sound of your voice to overlap with the vocoder sound. You may actually in other situations. So we'll set the vocoder here to no output. With doubler sending MIDI to the synth. Ba, ba, ba. And our voice sending audio via the sidechain. The vocoder should work when we hit record. We can start modulating the sound and the good, a good way to start is using one of the presets. We use the clear voice vocoder and then kind of edited the release time, the EQ bands here. You can increase the bands for a better quality of sound or a different quality of sound. You can keep changing them. The cutoff is quite important here. We'll try experimenting with these uh, parameters, for example. <laughs> What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Is it just destiny? Is it just real life? Is it destiny? Is it real life? 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 Real life, real life. Trying to form and stretch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try adding doubler's chords. Are we gonna survive this destiny? One, two tests. Trying to cut off heat. Cut off love. Cut off love. It has a lot of different character. One, two, three. Interactive voice. Resonance. 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 Resonance, 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 resonance. Form and, form and, form and stretch. Form and shift, form and shift, makes the voice much deeper. And an army of robots. So you can have lots of fun using the chords, and of course, as we talked about before, you get all of the chords MIDI here. So you can even change your chords, change your single notes, of course, if you've recorded single notes, and build your sound from there.
The parameters in Evoc are really great and can help you customize your sound really quickly. Another important point is to make sure you're recording your vocal audio and MIDI at the same time so that you can edit both later if necessary. In Ableton, similar to Logic, you need one MIDI track for the carrier and the synth and one audio track for your vocal. And again, we're going to use Doubler to trigger both of them at the same time so we don't have to use our hands to play a part while singing the vocoded part with our voice. So we'll start with the MIDI channel. We've used an instrument preset called Brasinski that features square waves and brass style sounds. Of course, you can use any synth from Ableton to achieve a similar effect, especially if you're using square waves. And then we have the vocoder here, which is on the audio channel with our voice. So one, two. Mute the vocoder. One, two, three, four. You can hear we have some reverb and some delay ready with the sends, and we've used OTT, which has some character and brightness to whichever sound you're using. This is just the default preset in Ableton, and the amount's at 25%. And the vocoder is on the audio channel, so when I activate it, the voice is going to go. In the vocoder, you select the carrier as external, and then audio from your MIDI channel. So the vocoder MIDI, this is the channel up here with our instrument. And then you have to record on both channels. With Doubler sending the MIDI to this channel, we can now see every note we're singing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What we've done in the vocoder is selected the EQ pattern by manipulating these EQ points. And it's always great to have the max amount of bands possible for quality of sound. You can also click Enhance for a better sound, and we're using the Retro mode. You can try between the Retro and Precise modes. Very small, subtle difference, but you'll definitely hear it. Then some key parameters are the formant, which affects the quality of your voice in terms of lower, more male voices versus higher, more female, and then really high-pitched voices. And the dry wet, of course, we leave at 100%. Depth can also really affect the character, and it's worth experimenting with. Let's try the sound. And of course, if you change the if you tweak the MIDI instrument you're using, you'll get a very different sound as well. When I clicked record, I got my vocals and my MIDI. So what I can do now is I can go into the MIDI and change the notes. And then you can even add additional notes if the MIDI instrument you're using is polyphonic. So for example, I'll add a chord to this last everywhere here. Maybe a simple A minor. And then even to this G, I can add in maybe its fifth. And remember, Doubler also has this chord mode, so you can activate chords and sing the chords and record all of the MIDI of the chords that you can also edit just like we were editing the single note MIDI. Having some fun there, but you can see we have all the chord MIDI, we can change the chords around afterwards, edit however, and we didn't have to touch a keyboard, perform anything. We get the whole vocoder sound only using our voice, which is pretty crazy. Thanks for watching, we really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section and we'll get right back to you. For more information about Doubler 2, head to voclia.com and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.